Viking 3 News. News you can trust. Coverage you can count on. Get all the facts right here, right now. With Colleen Hussman, Brianna Rex, and Jackie Clements. Good evening and welcome to Viking 3 News. I'm Colleen Hussman with my co-anchor, Brianna Rex. In tonight's special, we are going to be covering the law of supply and the law of demand. The law of supply and demand? What an interesting topic, Colleen. Let's first start with the law of supply, Brianna. The law of supply, in short, states that sellers supply more goods at a higher price than they are willing to at a lower price. We have Jackie Clements live on site with a great example of the law of supply. Now to you, Jackie. I am here with Allison, CEO of Rainbow Hair Alterations. Hi, Allison. Hi. So, Allison, can you describe to the viewers exactly what your product does? Of course. Um, my product is an instant hair color changing product that does not damage the hair follicle in any way, shape, or form. I'll show you how it's worked. Great. It changed my hair from this to this in just an instant, just the way I wanted it. Wow, that is amazing, Allison. Your business has really prospered from this, yes? Yes, extremely. Because of the law of supply, I'm able to produce so much of my product for a higher price than if it was selling at a lower price. Wow. So you're saying, if 10 people want to buy a bottle of hair product, and there's only one bottle left, the sale will be based on the level of demand for the hair product. The supply function requires more bottles of hair product, which generates more productive production to meet demand. Exactly. Well, there you have it, right from the roots of the rainbow, Back to you, Colleen and Brianna. Wow, that was very entertaining, Brianna. Which leads us into our next topic of tonight's special, the, the law of demand. The law of demand states that people will buy more at a lower price and buy less at higher prices, with other things remaining the same. We go back to Jackie, who is live, talking to many consumers about the rising gas prices. Thank you, Colleen. I'm here at the local Gas & Go talking to customers about the rising gas prices. Ma'am, what is your opinion on the rising gas prices? Well, I've been trying to get to the pharmacy to get my medicine. We all know this old body ain't walking nowhere. I understand. Huh. Maybe the pharmacy should think about a local delivery system. Oh, I agree, ma'am. I agree. Ma'am, have you noticed the time of year that the gas prices are better or worse? Well, I don't know about a time of year, but I do know that I remember when gas prices used to be a quarter. So see, folks, hard times, hard measures. I'm here with Austin, who has worked so hard this past year to get his two-week vacation. And now, with the rising gas prices, he is stranded home with no vacation. How does this make you feel, Austin? Well, I'll tell you what, it's just downright not acceptable. Gas prices are going up. I these just foreign people are taking over the oil companies. I ain't like it. I understand. You know, we all need time off work to get refreshed. I'm here with Colleen, who attends the local Missouri Valley College, and she is definitely feeling the wrath of the rising gas prices. Colleen, would you like to tell viewers how you feel about this? Sure. As you can see, I had to sell my car. I'm currently riding a bike around town and I can't even go home to see my family at all because the gas prices have gotten so high and um, it's definitely taken a toll on me in a very negative way. I understand. An unhappy student makes for unpleasant grades. I'm here with Nick who is seeking jobs, more than one that is, to keep his vehicle going. Nick, how is this affecting your jobs? Well. As you know, I work at McDonald's and Casey's down the street. And I've actively been looking for a job outside of Marshall, but with, you know, the high gas prices, it just makes me feel broke. Like every penny I earn just goes right into the gas tank. And I can't get a job out of town because I can't afford to travel that way. I understand. Flipping burgers and salting fries just doesn't cut it these days. So how do you feel about the rising gas prices? Well, it's not only affecting me, it's affecting my family also. Well, how does the rising price affect the amount of gas that you purchase? Well, just like the law of demand states, um, I'm not going to keep purchasing gas when the prices are so high. I'm going to wait till they lower the gas prices and then I'm going to purchase gas. I understand. Well, there you have it. Because of the law of demand and the tour season approaching, it's going to be a long, scorching summer. Back to you ladies in the studio. 
Thank you, Jackie. What interesting locals. <laughs> That's good old Marshall for you. Well, that concludes our economic special for you tonight. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow, please join us as we will be covering bullfrogs that chase cows. And we'll have a special interview with Harry Potter, who will demonstrate the proper wand techniques for controlling this outbreak. Thank, Thank you, you and, and good, good night from, from Viking 3 News. I'm gonna change my hair from this. I'll show you right now. <laughs>